Greetings everyone and welcome to the S'mores Archive. These are just all my old videos that I took down that I am re-releasing with some slight edits here and there. I did these DHgate cheapo sneaker reviews for entertainment and educational purposes and I do not endorse the sales of any replica products whatsoever. No links to any of these items will be given since these videos were done ages ago anyways. Well, I hope you do get a kick out of my old content. Thank you. I consulted the DH of Gate and I said, hey DH of Gate, please. Can you provide me a pair of Space Jams at a very, very low cost? And they said, here it is. And then this is what turned up. Let's open it up and see. Didn't expect them to turn up this quickly. One minute, they're over the other side of the globe, and then the next second, they're, uh, they're here. Better shipping than Australia Post, to be honest. Sometimes I wonder to myself if I can open up these garbage bags without damaging myself or the box. I'm more concerned about the shoes than myself. Almost. Yep. There we go. We has a box. We we'll jump man on it. There he is. Oh, he's really shiny now. I hope these are space jams. Let's go around the box and have a look. That's very unusual to have a thumbprint on a box, but okay. That is a massive thumbprint. Holy shit. Imagine Michael Jordan trying to unlock his phone with that. Like, oh. There's jump man on the side there, and the side of the box is completely empty, as per usual. Then we have size 11, which is what I asked for. Air Jordan 11 Retro, black blue, it says 998 on it, don't know what that means, but okay. And the box is a little bit crumpled up, the uh, gold 23, that's there, but let's fix the box. There we go, it's all fixed now. On the bottom is the usual stuff, the jump man stuff, all that sort of stuff. Considering that these were the cheapest, and they said it comes with a box, I was like, it's a no-brainer, I may as well. Anyways. Here we go. And before I get into it, I just wanted to say that this video is brought to you by Audible, where you can listen to free audiobooks. No, no, they, they won't approve of this. Uh, who else is there? Dollar Shave Club. Dollar Shave Club provides you with... Nah, they're not going to like that as well. How about Squarespace? Squarespace is also very good in... Nah, no, nah, they don't like it. Uh, who else have we got? Who are the sponsors? Who, who could... Uh, uh... Actually, this video is brought to you by Google. They're saying the word for me. This is an inside joke, so I don't expect any of you to get this. It's okay. So anyways, we'll continue on. Yay. Take them out of there. Hey, look, look, he's got a little Air Jordan 11 thing. So I've got another card that goes up to 14. This one goes up to, oh, this one goes up to 15. It's specifically designed for the 11s. I can blue tack that next to the other one. Other else in the box. Also, that smell of cheapness. The smell of the quality from China. Embrace it. Embrace it. You might get high off the fumes. Anyways, we have a pair of Space Jams. I assume that they're a pair of Space Jams. How does one open the bag? Here we go. Oh, what? It comes with... Oh. The tissue paper that they didn't even bother to, to put in there. They just they just fold up the tissue paper because, you know, there you go. And you, you can have a look, it's got 45 on there. And so instead of actually, we'll just put the tissue paper inside there for you. They go, no, no, no. We'll just, we'll just fold it and we'll just package it in there. And in that way, it looks all legit. Fantastic. These are Hang on a second, why did they say 45? Oh, they're not the original 23 ones. Oh, my bad. Whoops, made a mistake with that one. So these are based on the 2016 release of the Space Jams. So we will have to see the tag on it. But otherwise, apart from the Jordan 3s and the Jordan 4s, not sure about the Jordan 5s yet because I haven't got a pair of them, but these are in the running for my favorite Jordans. Ever since I seen them in Space Jam for the first time, I was like, oh my God. Then to find a pair at the thrift shop or op shop or whatever you want to call it, and then to know that they were fake, it kind of sucked. But I've got them here for reference so we can, you know, go over them and compare them and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, so you can tell they're different already by the design around here, which is very, very reflective. Hello. Yeah, let's have a look at these shoes because I've rambled on too long. Here is Jumpman looking all stitched and stuff. Uh, he's about a five out of 10 for me. Uh, then we got, yeah, the glossy finish here. It literally feels like plastic just sewed onto there, but you know, whatever. The uppers have the tabs there for the shoelaces all the way along, all the mesh detailing, which looks fairly fine. Doesn't look too bad to be honest. 
I already see fingerprints getting everywhere, but hey, there was a thumbprint on the box, so it must mean something. Uh, on the toe box, is that same, so it's just, it feels really plasticky and cheap, but then again, it was on the original release anyways, so hopefully it doesn't wear away. Then we got the toe box there. You can see it's sort of a bit of glue marks there, just sort of just stuck on there, but that's fine. A bit of creasing on the mids. There's the carbon fiber sort of area, which is just not looking good. They're actually spaced out, not too bad, so... <laughs> spaced out. Huh. Yeah, the mids, they're not too bad until we come around to here. And you can sort of see that's just tacked onto there. And there's the back where you can see there's just some rando stitching there. And it just looks like it's barely stitched together. It looks like you could have just probably pulled it apart. Otherwise, look, it's a cheap pair. I didn't really expect that much. The 45, on the other hand, it's pretty straight. But otherwise, just like normally, it, it's like... 40 bucks. As I said, I thought I was buying the 23 ones. Wasn't paying attention. I was just like, cheapest one, cheapest one, cheapest one, cheapest one. Yep, got it. Let's have a look at this here, which is always my favorite part of this shoe. And it's supposed to say J U M P M A N, except it doesn't really look like that at all. And that's supposed to be Jordan there as well. It doesn't really look like it. It looks like U O O O O and an N. And as for Jumpman on there, he's really limited in detail, but he's there. Yeah, I'll splice in an image of uh, what it's supposed to look like, but they're clearly the same character there. That J and that U is exactly the same. U Mo Mon. Yeah, that, that's it. Okay, so these are Uber Mon shoes. Fair enough. I'll take that any day. The tongue here. Wow, this is this is uh, something to look at. It's supposed to say quality basketball products inspired by the greatest player ever. However, it more looks like Yuri basketball products inspired by the greatest player ever. I think there's a full stop there. That's stitching as well. Pfft. They just got the tag. Just cut it how they wanted to. Stuck it on them went. Pfft. Cool. When I said I bought the cheapest pair, I bought the cheapest pair, didn't I? Yeah, I did. We have the standard tissue paper inside of it. Not helpful at all. The laces here don't have anything on them. No Jordans or Jumpmans or 23s or 42s or anything like that. Sorry, more detailing of the mesh material there. The insole, however, just says Nike Air. I'm pretty sure Mr. Jumpman is supposed to be on the uh, insole, but he's not. Our magic yoga mat foam. Ah, uh, yeah, typical yoga mat foam, as cheapy, generic as it gets. Oh, there actually is a tag inside of there. Okay, well, before we uh, see that, there's the inside stitching. Let's go around it. Oh, it's a little bit messy there. And then going around, you know what, whatever. Does it have a bit of cushioning? Yes, it does. It does feel quite cushiony. So right, let me go ahead and tuck this back in here. We're going to have to pull the laces out to see the tag. There's Jumpman on the tag. 378037003. Is that the one of the box? Yep, that's the one. 2016, so that seems to correspond, but the tag does not look correct at all. And the inside detailing there, you can see. Yeah, pretty average. But straight away, you can tell that these aren't of the uh, exact highest quality. Moving on to the bottom. Color-wise, I think it's fairly good, but Jumpman looks like he's gained a bit of weight there. These here are very grippy, that's for sure. They actually really feel grippy, so that's a good thing. And the clear sort of sole piece here that goes through the carbon fiber that goes, well, the carbon fiber goes around to the Jordan that's embedded in there. It looks like it's dotted, like it's painted. I don't know if you can see that, okay, like there. You can see it's it's like it's all dotted. So I'm not too sure if that's on the um, legit one or not, but there you go. I mean, hey, as long as it's, you know, grippy and all that sort of stuff, I'm pretty happy with that. Are they sturdy? They feel it. Are they the same size? Yes, no issues there. Just gonna check with this one as well and just see if it's any different. Nope. Looks terrible. Okay, I'm gonna compare them with my old ones and show you a comparison of what the old ones look like versus the new ones. Sad to think that these were fake though. When I picked them up for, oh, I can't even remember how much these were. I think these were 10 bucks or something like that. It was crazy, but you guys said to me that they're possibly fake, but hey, if you wanna recheck it again, feel free. This one has 23 written on it and it's just a little piece of cloth there. Jumpman kind of, you could see his ass right there. It's very prominent and I believe he's the wrong way too. These laces I pinched from another pair of shoes because it didn't come with laces originally. All the material and the yellowed sole. Jumpman is looking pretty blobby but there's the carbon fiber which actually has a bit of texture to it on my old ones. A bit scuffed up. I mean, yeah, these were worn quite well. It's funny because the eBay Air Harachis that I bought a while ago, I pinched the insoles out and put them in here. But the tag on here looks like that. And the date code is 2005. 
and from what I can tell, there was no Space Jams released around the 2005 mark, so that would lead these to be fake. The tongue is not as thick as on this one here. This one is nice and thick. This one is just loose and just flops around. And that's what this one looks like. Quality basketball products inspired by the greatest player ever, compared to that one there. So that is a big difference. The next big difference is this here. You can see that these are two different characters. So that is a J, that is a U, that is M, that is P, M, A. You can see it's just slightly there, and that's N. And then here, J, O, R, D, A, N. It's all there. But yet on this one, what do I call it again? Um Umamon. Yep, there you go. Yeah, on the back you can tell from the originals to the re-releases, they made them slightly higher. And yeah, they changed this material all along there, lower on that, higher on this one. I think I like the lower one, to be honest. I sort of like this cut more than this one. Soul-wise, well, yeah, pretty much no differences there. I mean, apart from the yellowed one. And just for kicks, there's Jumpman on both of them. Just have a closer look at there. He's definitely got an ass on him. He'd be thick. Compared to those ones to those ones, well, considering these are 2016s and these ones are based on the OG ones or presumably some other ones, uh, yeah, I like these still and I do like these. But as I've said, they are the cheapest quality that I could possibly get. So what was I expecting? Let's move on to the on foot segment and we shall finish this video because this video has gone on too long because I've rambled on too long and I'm going to continue to ramble on too long until we get to the on foot segment. So I'm just going to and to splice it while I keep rambling and you can just listen to me. Okay, so here are the, wait a sec, Space Jam socks? You're damn right. These go perfectly with these kicks and I have to say, putting them on without properly doing the laces is a bad thing because you can see these move all over the place. Once I fix the laces later on, turns out they are true to size, so there's no issues with that. Plenty of grip as usual and the cushioning on the ankle support and the insole are all good in that field. I definitely like these re-releases as they do incorporate new elements to the OG Retro 11 and work well as a basketball shoe as intended, but it would go well for a casual street look. Looking at these re-releases though, I just don't think you can top the OG shoe, that's for sure. And now my old ones here. These are a bit of a small size 11, so they may not be true to size. These ones, however, have a lot more grip to them than the other ones. These would definitely feel great out on the court. All the cushioning is there, and these feel super comfortable. Just the insoles aren't the right fit, but they will do. I really don't know which one I like better now. I'm kind of stuck between the two. Okay, and that's them, the Space Jam collection, and them too. Since I knew I was getting these today, that's why I purchased these, so um, it all just goes along with the theme. It's only 15 bucks too, and it's two pairs. Yay. I enjoyed having a look at them. I don't know if you enjoyed looking at them. Remember, this is all quality content. Yes, only the finest quality content on this channel, absolutely. Because in this channel, we discuss why Jumpman has a visible ass crack. Content. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you made it to the end, you got through some really cringy old s'mores. If you liked it though, leave a like. If not, then feel free to dislike. I'll see you in the next one.